Hi, I'm Ruth Sy from Blueprint, and today I want to talk to you about one of the most important considerations in driving successful IT projects, non-functional requirements. So what exactly is a non-functional requirement? Well, a functional requirement is what the system or end product is supposed to do. It answers the question, what? For example, if you're building the software for a bank machine, a functional requirement would be that the system needs to allow users to withdraw cash. What is it supposed to do? It allows users to withdraw cash. A non-functional requirement, on the other hand, is more so about how the system does that. So in the case of the bank machine, the non-functional requirement might be that the system needs to dispense the cash within 10 seconds of the user submitting the request. It answers the question, how? Functionals are more so about the what, and non-functionals are much more so about the how. So the leading expert on the subject, Roxanne Miller, outlines in her book three separate categories of non-functional requirements. Ones that address operation, ones that address revision, and ones that address transition. And there are different questions and considerations for each one of those three categories. For non-functional requirements that address operation, um, you want to answer questions like, how dependable is the system? How immune and resilient is it to failure? How easy is it to learn and operate the system? And these questions speak directly to things like security, availability, efficiency, integrity, and reliability. Non-functional requirements that address revision answer questions like, how easy is the system to upkeep and repair? How easy is it to expand or upgrade capabilities? And these questions speak to things like flexibility, scalability, and verifiability. Lastly, non-functional requirements that address transition answer questions like, how easy is it to integrate with other systems? How easy is it to convert for use with other systems or processes? And how easy is it to transport? And these questions speak to things like portability, reusability, and interoperability. So once you have a pretty clear sense of the importance and impact of non-functional requirements, how do you go about managing them effectively to drive your IT project success? Well, in many cases, you're going to want to seek out technology, which can play a very significant role. And when you choose a solution, you really want one that addresses four key things. The first thing is that you want to make sure that the solution predefines and standardizes your non-functional requirements so that you can execute much better and faster against them. You also want to lay out an explicit definition process as part of your develop development methodology because this will really improve your coverage. You want to make sure that the software offers very strong analytical capabilities that provide traceability and visualization to enhance your understanding. And lastly, you want to centralize all of your data to improve collaboration and drive reuse across stakeholder groups. Sure enough, Blueprint can provide all of these capabilities and ensures that non-functional requirements do not get overlooked. You can download our recent white paper on non-functional requirements or contact us today for more information. Thanks so much. Thank you.